Hello, my name is Ryan Cook, and I'm a sales engineer at ThreatTrack Security. This video will demonstrate the process of updating Viper Business from version 7 to version 9. However, before updating, it's recommended that you back up the Viper Business Console's database. Here's a link on details how to determine the type of database being used and the process of backing it up should you decide to do so. With that said, Let's go ahead and download the file we're going to use to update the console. Here's a link to our downloads page, which will provide you with the correct installation file based on your key. Make sure you're using the correct key, and for reference, standard Viper Business licenses begin with 401, premium licenses begin with 402, and endpoint security licenses begin with 443. So without further delay, let's begin. Here we have a version 7 installation of Viper Business and the installer for version 9. Our first step is to ensure all console windows are closed and then to run the installation file to start the update process. After progressing past user account control, all the files needed for the update will be extracted and the installation wizard will begin by bringing us to a welcome page. Progressing past the welcome page, we'll encounter a notice regarding the update itself, which we'll need to agree to. And after this notice is the familiar end user license agreement page, which we'll also agree to. Once these two agreements are out of the way, we can start the update's installation. The update itself shouldn't take any more than just a few moments, much like the console's initial installation. And during this process, you'll see the shortcut be removed for Viper's old version, and then the new one replaced with Viper's new logo. Once this update completes, we should be greeted with a configuration wizard that will walk us through the remaining portion of the update. And here's the upgrade utility, which will be used to automatically upgrade the database used by Viper Business to the newest version for version 9. Oh, it's all done, so now we're going to go through, select finish, and now the console should open and we'll see the new logo. Before we start updating any agents, let's make sure the new software packages have finished downloading. Once we see version 9.3.6 listed in the Site Properties Updates pane, we can start the process of getting these agents up to date. These existing agents can be set to check for software updates from the console periodically on a per-policy basis. This option is configured here in the Updates tab of a Policies Properties, and by default, Policies that are based on default for workstations will check once every 8 hours, while those based on default for servers will not be set to check for updates at all, as we normally want to keep deployments to servers more controlled. So, for policies not configured to automatically update, agents can be prompted to check for new software versions. First, if we're not already, we'll need to navigate to the Protected Computers tab to view the agents that are currently deployed. From here, we just need to right click on an agent, expand agent updates, and select check for agent software updates. Once we do so, the agent status will change to updating software as the installation file is downloaded. This download shouldn't take too long, and once it finishes, we'll see the agent shut down. Oh, there we go. Once we see the agent shutdown status, the agent's going to begin installing the update. And once the update completes, the agent will come back online and begin its definition update. At this point, the agent's version should now be listed as version 9, just like the console. For any agents that need to upgrade to a higher product level, such as standard to premium or premium to endpoint security, we'll need to prompt the console to re-push the installation. Luckily, the process is pretty simple. Just right-click on a selected system or systems, select Install Existing Agent, and choose the appropriate version from the drop-down. This will start a process similar to the agent's initial installation, and once complete, its product level will be updated. With that, we've finished updating the Viper Business Console to version 9 and either configured agents to check for updates automatically or prompted them to do so manually. It's recommended that all agents are updated as soon as possible 
due to the significant changes between version 7 and version 9. Finally, I'll leave you with some details on how to contact our sales team if you'd like to know more about the new product, or technical support teams if you have any technical needs. That about wraps up this guide to updating Viper Business. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.